Hello and welcome to our discussion on cost and management accounting. The focus of this session is to understand the difference between actual costing and normal costing. So issues that we will cover is what is actual costing, uh, how it differs from the normal costing. In the process, we will try to understand the actual absorption rate and budgeted absorption rate. In case of actual costing, the, the direct costs are traced to the cost objects and the indirect costs are also traced on the basis of actual absorption rate. So in case of actual costing, the total product cost is the direct cost plus the manufacturing overheads which are traced on the basis of the actual absorption rate. An actual absorption rate is equal to actual overheads divided by actual allocation base. Now let us see what is this normal costing. In case of normal costing also the direct costs are traced to the the, the cost object just like the uh, actual costing. However, in case of normal costing, the indirect costs are traced based on the budgeted absorption rate. In case of actual, it is actual absorption rate and in case of normal, it is a budgeted absorption rate. So the difference between the normal costing and absorption costing is the use of budgeted absorption rate and the actual absorption rate. So understanding the difference between actual costing and normal costing is to understand the difference between the budgeted absorption rate or predetermined absorption rate and actual absorption rate. Let us take an example to do that. Suppose a division handles several jobs during a particular period but one of the jobs is job number 207 is the focus of this particular exercise this job uses the material 1000 units of dm material 2 250 units at this rate so the material cost is 52,250 the actual labor is skilled workers and unskilled workers 450 hours and 1450 hours at the rate of 250 and 129 rupees so the total cost for this job is this however the manufacturing overheads which are common for the entire division and the company is not yet able to find the or uh, uh, understand the overheads incurred for this job but they know that possibly the budgeted manufacturing overhead for this particular division is 350,000 and during this period the company will use or work for 6,000 labor hours. So therefore the budgeted overhead rate is 58. 58 is equal to the budgeted manufacturing overhead divided by budgeted hours. Now using this data we will find the use the normal costing method to find the cost of cost of this particular job number 207. So the direct material is the summation of the DM1 and DM2. Direct labor is the summation of the skilled workers and unskilled workers and the overheads overheads are determined on the basis of the budgeted overhead rates you can see that by using 58 which is a budgeted absorption rate with the actual number of hours we got the manufacturing overheads so manufacturing overheads have been determined by finding or multiplying the budgeted absorption rate with the actual with the actual number of hours because the company is not yet able to find out what will be the actual overheads 
but if the same question or the same exercise uh, by using the actual costing we need information about the actual information about the manufacturing overheads suppose if this information would have been available to us so then the normal costing will look like this the same information about the material and labor material and labor but unlike the previous one in this case i know the actual overheads incurred in the division which consists of rent water electricity canteen expenses but this is for the division the entire division which handles several different jobs and the total hours for all the divisions is actually spent during this period is 5000 hours so we got actual absorption rate actual absorption rate is 81 so what will happen to the cost with respect to the cost the material and labor remains the same the actual cost but if you can see the manufacturing overheads the manufacturing overheads are determined on the basis of the actual absorption rate which is 81 so the product cost for this job is 500,000 504,700 so under normal cost actual costing the cost is 504,700 whereas in the normal costing where we use the budgeted rate it is 461 so the cost under normal costing is less than the cost under the actual costing because of the manufacturing overheads differences and the manufacturing overhead differences difference is due to the difference in the absorption rate so we can see the absorption rate is 58 and the absorption rate is 81. So the difference in the cost which is called over allocation or under allocation, under allocators or over allocated overheads. So in this case, in this case the overheads are under allocated if the budget overheads are less than the actual overheads you can see that budgeted overheads are less than the actual overheads there is an under allocation or under absorbed indirect cost or under absorbed overheads so this under absorption is due to the difference between the absorption rates due to the difference between the absorption rate 81 and and 58 respectively so there is a need to understand how to adjust or use this unabsorbed or overabsorbed or underabsorbed overheads sometime the actual overheads may be less than the budgeted overhead and that will be called overabsorption. but in this case there is an underabsorption. to summarize therefore we say that the the difference between the actual costing and the normal costing arises because of the difference in the absorption rates in case of in case of the normal costing we use the budgeted absorption rate into the actual hours and in case of actual absorption actual costing we use the actual absorption rate so it is the difference between ABR and B actual absorption rate actual absorption rate and the budgeted absorption rate
So in principle, the actual costing and the absorption costing, the basis of calculating the cost, the components are same. And within the component, the direct material and direct labor are same. It's the manufacturing overheads which is responsible for the difference between the cost under actual costing and the cost under the absorption costing. And the difference in the manufacturing overheads is because of the difference in the difference in the absorption rates, the actual absorption rates and the budgeted absorption rate. So the, the, the normal costing and the actual costing, though in principle they are same, the time, the uh, situations in which they use, they are used uh, because of the availability or non-availability of information. If all information is available, of course I'll go with an actual costing, but generally this is not possible. So therefore, in order to enable the management to take decisions, they use the budgeted absorption rate, so the normal costing is used. However, there is a need to reconcile the difference between the actual absorption rate and budgeted absorption rate based overheads. That means there is a need to adjust the underabsorption or overabsorption, which will be the focus of our next session. Thank you very much.